In the bustling city of Neo-Atlantis, technological advancements had become the new normal. Bionic upgrades were as commonplace as getting a haircut or buying a new pair of shoes. It was the age of the new human, where strength, intelligence, and creativity were no longer determined by genetics, but by the latest bio implant. Enter Gary, a middle-aged, slightly balding man who had just turned 50. He was having what some might call a midlife crisis. He'd spent years watching his friends and co-workers transform themselves into superhumans with bionic upgrades, while he remained the same old Gary. He dreamt of becoming stronger, smarter, and more creative. He fantasized about the day he would finally get the bionic upgrade package that would turn him into the man he always wanted to be. There was just one small problem, his wife, Laura. Laura was a staunch traditionalist who believed that one should age gracefully, accepting the natural decline that comes with time. She refused to let Gary spend their hard-earned savings on frivolous bionic upgrades. One night, as they sat down to dinner, Gary couldn't contain his frustration any longer. Laura, I need those upgrades. I want to be a better version of myself. Just imagine the things I could do. Laura sighed and put down her fork. Gary, I love you just the way you are. Besides, we need to save that money for our retirement. But Gary wasn't giving up. He decided to take matters into his own hands. One day, while Laura was out shopping, Gary snuck off to the Bionic Emporium, a popular shop specializing in state-of-the-art bio implants. As Gary stepped into the shop, his eyes widened at the dazzling array of bionic upgrades. There were strength enhancers, memory boosters, and even creativity amplifiers. He was like a kid in a candy store. Before he knew it, Gary had spent their entire retirement fund on the ultimate bionic upgrade package. He could hardly contain his excitement as he underwent the transformation, feeling the surge of newfound abilities coursing through his body. When Laura returned home, she immediately noticed the change. Gary's once flabby arms were now bulging with muscle. His eyes shone with an unnatural intelligence, and he was humming a catchy tune that he had just composed on the spot. Gary, she exclaimed, what have you done? Gary sheepishly grinned, flexing his new biceps. I couldn't help myself, Laura. I just had to know what it was like. Laura was furious, but as the days went by, she couldn't help but notice the positive changes in Gary's life. He was more confident, more productive, and even a better partner. He had become a bionic renaissance man, excelling in every aspect of his life. One evening, while they were enjoying a romantic dinner that Gary had whipped up with his newfound culinary skills, Laura finally cracked a smile. I suppose these upgrades aren't so bad after all. In the end, Gary's bionic upgrades brought him the fulfillment he had been craving, and even Laura couldn't deny the benefits. As they strolled hand in hand into their upgraded future, they laughed at the irony of it all. Gary had finally achieved everything he ever wanted, but at a significant cost. As the years passed, the world around them continued to advance at a breakneck pace, with bionic upgrades becoming even more sophisticated and powerful. However, their once ample retirement savings had been wiped out by Gary's impulsive decision, leaving them with little financial security for their golden years. Gary's newfound abilities brought him success and admiration but the constant pressure to stay ahead of the curve took its toll. He became obsessed with acquiring the latest upgrades, always fearing he would fall behind and lose his edge. His once loving and supportive relationship with Laura began to deteriorate as he spent more time and energy on his bionic pursuits. Eventually, Laura could no longer stand Gary's fixation on his upgrades. The man she had once loved for his humility and acceptance of his flaws was gone, replaced by a bionic stranger. With a heavy heart, Laura left Gary, seeking a simpler life with someone who valued human connection over technological enhancement. Alone and heartbroken, Gary realized the bitter truth. In his quest to become a better version of himself, he had lost sight of what truly mattered. He had gained the world, but lost his soul. As he sat in his empty apartment, surrounded by the cold, gleaming machinery that had once promised him happiness, he couldn't help but wonder if his upgrades were worth the price he had paid. Subscribe to Quantum Dreams for more AI-generated sci-fi stories.